like I said, I would be making videos in response to the uh, Onsen Shukai series that was uh, being made. Um, so anyway, uh, Chelsea Manning or Bra Bradley Manning, what's his name? Oh, wait, oh, wait, um, it was uh, a different um, guy who became a woman because he was talking about ninja stuff, like, um, he was saying that he actually practices these techniques, so I assume if he was talking about, uh, you know, ninjutsu, he must be in the intelligence community, so I assumed he was, uh, Chelsea Manning. But, uh, uh no, it's, it's another guy, it's, uh, Chris. Um, anyway, Chris is talking about the, um, the Bonsen Shukai, and he's talking about how, uh, what the meaning of nin is, and what the meaning of ninjutsu is, and he's like, Oh, you know, um, ninjutsu is to over shin. Well, no, actually, it's yaiba over kokoro. Not to over shin. To and shin are different readings, but it's yaiba over kokoro. Um, so anyway, that's that's what it means. And then jutsu, he's like, this is heart and blade. And then, you know, <laughs> blade is over a heart. He doesn't know uh, the etymology of jutsu, which means, you know, adhering to a road that has twists, but, you know, what, what do you expect when you can't read Japanese or pronounce Japanese words right? So, anyway, he was giving this quote by who he calls Fujibayashi. Um, you know, of course, Kurisuda Yakobu-san would not understand how to pronounce Japanese names, especially a name like Fujibayashi, as he says, you know, ah, uh, Fujibayashi. You know, uh, I'm going to give Chris a Japanese lesson here. My handwriting is horrible. Okay. Fuji, Wisteria, Bayashi. This is a uh, forest. You know, I, I, of course, why would Chris know how to pronounce the Fuji Bayashi? Because it's not like there is anyone who has this part of the name that Chris would know any for any reason, you know. Who would have this Oh, what does that? Hayashi. As in Hayashi Nakashima. So it's obvious that Chris would not know how to pronounce that kanji. Because, you know, how would he know who Hayashi, how to pronounce Hayashi? You know, because that person didn't exist. Uh, but anyway. So Chris is going on and on. He's saying, uh, you know, oh, we, you know, in this book, there's no talk about lineage. There's no talk about... Well, first of all, there is talk about lineage because it talks about the interconnectedness of Iga and Kolka. So, obviously, there's a lineage there because it's the people from a specific region who are interacting with each other. And, obviously, there's trust between them because there's been a shared history. And he's like, you know, yeah, you know, uh, you don't... They just talk about bravery. They don't talk about lineage. They don't talk about... They just talk about technique. The one reason why you wouldn't talk about your lineage and who's a ninja and who isn't and come out and say, oh, this is my ninja school, we've been doing this for uh, however long, um, it says specifically in the exact same damn book that if someone says they're a ninja, kill them. If someone talks about ninja to skills, kill them. That's the thing. You cannot tell people you're a ninja. So what's this guy going to do? Come out and be like, oh... Hey guys, uh, this is a ninja. I'm not talking about my lineage. Oh, you're you're a ninja too. Oh, let's do ninja stuff together. No. Oh, and Chris says ninjetsu too. That was pissing me off severely. Um, but anyway, yeah. So that's retarded. Uh, but then he goes on to say he's like, you know, oh, the uh, other schools are inferior, cause uh, you know, they're out there. We're doing ninjutsu stuff, and they're out there. They're just talking. It's like we don't talk about lineage in our, in our school. Well, one, because you don't fucking have one, first of all. And two, who in your uh, school is doing ninja stuff out there? Um, so if someone has the, uh, you know, they could send Chris the uh, bro, do you even operate patch, because I know there's a uh, of people who have actually done this kind of stuff, this real ninjutsu stuff, and I know that he nor any of his students have n not been in that situation. You know, unless he is Chelsea Manning, I don't know. He could be. Maybe he's that good of a ninja. Maybe he's stuck out of jail and or two identity, something. He's using that trick to get the uh, the black roots on a blonde wig. I don't even th I didn't know they sold wigs like that. That's crazy. Um, <laughs> so anyway, what the I don't even know what the hell I'm talking about now. It's just so sidetracked. Uh, so Chris is talking about this bullshit, and then he goes on to say like, you know, oh this is so important to me because you know people think that it's about being an assassin, about putting your blade over someone's heart. No, it's not. These fucking people. 
are, the people who know Japanese martial arts and can read Japanese know exactly what the hell it means. You know, someone who's in the middle of Kansas and uh, thinks they're uh, going to sneak around and crawl in the water and cut people's throats like you pretend to do at your, uh, your little Taikai. <laughs> Obviously. And she's like, he's like, what, um, he's like, oh, uh, our symbol, the Budo Ryu symbol is, uh, a sword and it has stuff over it. And that's, I made that cause, uh, you know, that represents stuff. No, I know why the fuck you made it. <laughs> this is why you made it. It's the exact same fucking logo. Van Donk sent me this, like, 12 years ago, or 10 years, uh, not more than 12 years ago, Van Donk sent me this in like 2001. <laughs> a bit before your school there, Chris. So don't act like you're a, a philosophical genius making up this bullshit. Yeah, I made this logo. I copied Van Donk, just like I copied Van Donk's videos, I copied Monaka's videos, I copied Stephen Hayes' videos. So anyway, Chris is going on and on about this bullshit and talking about how, uh, I don't even know how... How everyone needs to focus on techniques. You're not focusing on techniques. The only techniques you're focusing on are stuff that you copied from Naka. There is no Tomo Ryu. There is no Tomo Ryu techniques. There is no Koka Ryu Kempo or Kose Ryu Kempo or whatever the hell you're calling it. It's all bullshit. <laughs> it's just like his, uh, his, he, he checked this one video. I, I don't even know. I think he's like standing in the water doing, um, uh, Kose Ryu Kempo, but it's Siniwali from, uh, Kali. So he's still in Sini Wally, uh, or I don't know if that would be even from because of Filipino word, but uh, they don't really use that word in, in um, they don't use the term colony in the Philippines, but he's doing Sini Wally and he's saying that it's a uh, uh, Kempo. It's, it's such bullshit. This is, is such a joke. He can't pronounce any words right. He doesn't know what the hell words mean. He can't read Japanese. His teachers don't exist. He can't pronounce his own teacher's name. It's fucking retarded. This whole video series is going to be such a joke. And, uh, you know. But yeah, we're the ones who aren't doing the serious stuff, but this guy, playing in the water. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> someone asked a question before, that was a serious question. They asked me, uh, do Chris's boobs float? No, they don't float. Silicon is actually denser than the water, so it sinks. Uh, saline breast implants would be neutral in water, depending on the water. If it was um, fresh water, uh, the saline is obviously a different density, and then regular boobs float because fat floats. So uh, that's the information for the day. Have fun, and uh, I knew this was going to be a joke.